I've seen every form of falling blocks known to man, but this... This baffled me. It seemed to have a simple concept. You've got blocks with arrows, and if I don't miss my guess, you have to make them disappear by some means. Thus did I engage Tidalis, a placid piece of musically inclined relaxation that... Okay. There's really no such thing as a placid falling block puzzle game, since they almost always ramp up to absurd levels. But the early part is placid and refreshing, and even features a cute cast of strange creatures and even more incredulous writing. It paints a picture of a strange land, funny enough, named Ted Alice, where you as a shipwrecked mariner wander around and, um, solve puzzles, because it's an adventure. Don't stare too hard, you'll hurt yourself. So here's the mechanics. Click on a block and it sends out a stream in whatever direction is indicated, which travels for three blocks, or until it hits a block of its matching color, which reacts and thereupon fires its own stream, and so on and so on. If three or more blocks react in one chain, they disappear, calling any blocks above to come crashing down the lowest of any falling stack to send out a stream of its own, and so on and so on. The concept is simple, heck, I could probably code this thing on one can of Mountain Dew. The difficulty then comes with the very careful ways they make you play. For example, clear X blocks, but you lose if you clear more than Y blocks of Z color. Trust me, that's on the easier end of the spectrum. That's not getting into all the strange twists that might occur, like part of the field flooding with water, which then brings the consideration of buoyancy into play. Some blocks burn, some blocks make reactions that cost you points, some blocks are turnips, some blocks eat everything except turnips because you. Some blocks are water balloons. Seriously, the variety is as long as my arm and keeps things fresh, especially given the extensive level editor mode, which extends to a theme editor if you'd rather have Tidalis in space. All right, so it's lots of different kinds of falling blocks. Games like this often center on their control to the exclusion of everything else, so let's pin that one down. If you're unfortunate enough to be playing this on a touchpad, it's probably going to be bad times. A mere finger recentering tap might be construed as a move, which is enough to wreck you in puzzle mode or potentially cost you time in every other setting, as you can't activate one stream while another is going. It's left click to activate and right click and drag to spin a block's arrows around, with a bevy of other options like speeding up or placing special blocks available from a toolbar on the right of the pit. But while the controls might get frustrating, the soundscape is pleasant enough, with each color of block reacting in its own, um, instrument, it would seem. However, if you've got a large, massive reaction all going off at once, it kinda just sounds like one of those huge person-sized hamster globes from American Gladiators tearing through a mid-scale symphony orchestra. Heavy on the piano, too. I guess Yefim Bronfman was getting his Chopin on at the time. So pick up Ted Alice if you want pianos full of falling blocks that happen to be turnips, and a side of strange purple devil creatures with issues.